It wasn't very long ago that folks thought they were doing their part by recycling bottles, cans, and cardboard. And like you, the folks in Portland, Oregon are big recyclers. But Portlanders have come to realize there's a lot more to being green than recycling. The Natural Step. The reason the natural step isn't better known here is because, currently, the only natural step organization in the U.S. is located in Portland, Oregon. The natural step is a framework of principles grounded in natural science that, over the past 20 years, have gained worldwide acceptance. The natural step principles serve as a guide for businesses, communities, educators, governments, and individuals on the path toward sustainable development. The first step of the natural step principles reminds us that in a sustainable society, nature is not subject to systematically increasing concentrations of substances extracted from the Earth's crust. The second step reminds us that in a sustainable society, nature is not subject to systematically increasing concentrations of substances produced by society. The third step reminds us that in a sustainable society, nature is not subject to increasing degradation by physical means. And the fourth step reminds us that in a sustainable society, people are not subject to conditions that systematically undermine their capacity to meet their needs. For instance, the homes we live in currently contribute over 25% of this country's carbon emissions. But there are lots of things we can do to reduce those emissions. Just ask Portland, Oregon businessman Tom Kelly. There's a transformation going on in our market in, in, the, in, the, in the Portland and Oregon region, but also all over the country. You can't pick up a construction industry trade magazine today without finding an article or two about green construction. Everybody's talking about it. And even a year ago, that wasn't the case. It's, it's, it's a... It's, it's really a, a, an exciting transformation. I think it has to do with maybe a change in our society that's going on right now. Tom Kelly is the second generation owner of Neil Kelly Company, a leader in Portland's home building and remodeling industry. The company's Hood River Zero Net Energy home is the first home in the Western United States to be awarded a LEED certification. And it's both a demonstration home for Neil Kelly customers and a learning retreat for Neil Kelly employees. We felt that being the builder of the first LEED certified house was going to be a good thing for us in our business, that we wanted to be, to be branded as, to be identified as one of the builders in Oregon that had in-house expertise in, in building uh, really energy efficient homes. You know, in a typical home, we have siding on the outside, then we have... Uh, the two by four walls, and then we have the sheetrock, and then we have paint. Well, with the concrete block, for instance, um, what you see is what you got. There's no additional finishes that have to be put on. So we're really we're saving resources by not having to have a whole bunch of layers. And that's what you see in the um, steel pan construction. So the ceiling of the downstairs floor is the steel. The simplicity of the construction method, I guess, is that is um, the, the best aspect. It, it just it, it isn't. It, we're not involving so many materials. The photovoltaic system that we're utilizing is all integrated into. So the electricity that it's, it's creating is it is driving the heat pump and heating the water that um, is then circulated in the floors that heats the house. It's a wonderful way to heat a house. Radiant heat. What we don't have is we don't have all those drafts of air being blasted around the house. We're utilizing the sun's energy through all of this glass um, to come in and, and, and heat the block, heat the walls. The fireplace does the same thing. When we build a fire, the heat stays in all that mass for a long period of time afterwards. These windows are Marvin's Integrity window, and they, they're called low-E glass, so they've got a uh, thin film suspended in between the layers of glass, and that film is a product that will deflect the sun's rays during the summertime when the sun is higher in the sky, and in the wintertime when it's lower, it allows those heat rays to come through. 
in the cabinets, we build the boxes, build the main frame of the cabinet with a product called Wheat Board, which is a uh, non-formaldehyde uh, content um, product made from the chaff of wheat. Very similar to what most people would know as particle board and its look and feel, but it's made with the chaff of wheat instead of wood products. In the kitchen, we have one product for a countertop that's called Ice Stone, made in the factory concrete countertop that incorporates uh, recycled uh, beer and wine bottle glass and, and also clamshells. So it's a, basically a combination of a bunch of reclaimed product um, that is made with concrete. The other one is Paper Stone, which is made with uh, reclaimed newsprint and acrylics. Uh, so it's a really neat product that uh, really got a great look, too, besides being a green product. A really important energy efficiency feature of the house is that the roof is built with what's called SIPs. SIPs are structurally insulated panels. So it's a layer of OSB board, then a really thick layer of polystyrene, and then another layer of OSB, oriented strand board. So what these are, are these really big panels that are put up on the roof over the top of the beams. They're the roof structure. The roof on this house is R48. Um, it's a, a really, you know, energy efficient house, and, and where heat escapes the most easily naturally is through the roof. This house is built hell for stout. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to come back here 300 years from now and see this house still standing.